Today we have two games in a league format. One is Derby in the Premier League, the other is Bayern Munich in the Champions League. Can we finally win a game in a league format this season? Please. This is Gamer. My name is Duncan. Welcome back to the tournament. <laughs> There's not actually on hype, but there's not much that's to show you, so let's just get straight to the game. <clears throat> We're going to go for the information today, same system, but I just want to go try to up top against a team we should be comfortably beating. So it'll be Seidel and goals with Gomez, Van Langen, Estrada and Royals, with Cecilia and Cissé as our two defensive mids. Lucero will play as an inside forward on the right with Taboas as an advanced playmaker on the left with Ray and Jones up top. Laskowski, Cotter, Olafemi, Malkov, Solheim... Vaz, Derek Diabate and Jason Van Duyven are on the bench. If need be, we can switch to our normal shape, but I'm hoping, hoping that won't be the case today. Uh, so with this formation, it's very much a more attacking shape. And with the roles that we're asking people to do, I mean, right now, these three are your only three players who will probably stay back. Every other player will be up the park, so... We're hoping that we can pretty much just roll over the top of them. But we will see how the game progresses. It's a risk, don't get me wrong, it's a big risk. But I'm not too upset at trying something a bit different here against Derby. I'm also curious to see if Ray and Jones can have a good partnership up top. Tabozo has the ball, gets it to Royals. To Cecilia, back to Taboas. Has a shot from distance. It's came off of someone. It's not going on offside, which is good. I honestly thought it was going off of Ray. Let's see who actually gets the final touch of the shot. So Taboas to Royals. Plays it to Cecilia. First time ball to Taboas. Takes a touch. Hits with his right foot. It has came right off of Hernandez Garcia. It's Arsenal 1. Derby now. Taboas is getting the goal, apparently. Don't know how. But I'm sure he'll not be complaining. Hit it with his weaker foot and everything. Taboas. Lasseur's just went down injured. That is not good. That is really not good. Gomez. Gets it to Jones. He's fired at home. It's his first competitive goal of the season. He did not score at all in the Club World Cup. As we are now all very anxious about that injury to Lasseur. He's coming off. Fuck. Faz will come on. Replace him. Let's all hope that this is not a bad injury. But well done, Jones. Finally scoring again after going what well, must be a good maybe eight, nine games without scoring a goal. Because I think he appeared quite regularly as a sub in the Club World Cup. So that's... I mean, it's good he's broke. That makes start scoring now. Cecilia! <laughs> On the ball. Gives it to Van Langen. Cecilia again. Gets it to Jones, who gives it to Vaz. And Vaz slots at home. It is his second of... All competitive football, including the Club World Cup, which is for some reason included as this season, not the end of last season. But I'm going to stop making that point now, anytime someone scores. But so far, a very comfortable 3-0 lead. And we are dominating both possession and the game in general. Royals, Cissé, back to Taboas. Hits it with his right foot again and he calls it in. It's his second goal of the game and his second goal of the season. Taboas doubling our lead and his tally. And I can't say anything else about it. Are you sure you're left-footed? <laughs> this is twice now he's scored with his right foot. Although the first one really shouldn't count. Celia, ball over the top for Vaz, who takes a heavy touch. It was a good ball, though. Now we're being tested a little bit defensively here. Can we regroup and stop the chance? Well, they've took the shot from distance, and it was nowhere near the goal, so we're not going to worry about it at all. Not at all. Four shots in the game, all on target, all in the back of the net. That is efficiency right there. Five minutes added time. No fifth goal though. We are playing very well and I cannot complain. Let's just go straight to the second half then. They've made a triple sub at least. 
So they must very been genuinely not happy with the way they were playing. Uh, they've changed their formation and they went with a back five. Understandable. CC Van Langen. Inside to Estrada. To Cecilia. To Boas. He's been filled. He's not been filled, sorry, he's been tackled. But Jones picks up the loose ball and calls it in from either just inside or just outside the box. That's Jones' second goal of the game and of the season. Let's see, was it inside or outside the box? Was it 18 yards or 19 yards? Pretty much 18 yards. <laughs> but it's in, makes it five, and a very comfortable day at the office, I think it's fair to say. And it's a goal. Will Gent heads home from the back post. Not ideal. What we're going to do, though, is make a couple of changes. We're going to bring on Olafemi. He will play as a left-back on wing-back defend. Ross hasn't done anything wrong. I'm just subbing I want to get Olafemi minutes. And, of course, Solheim will come on. He'll replace Cecilia, give Cecilia a rest, and give Solheim some all-important minutes. No one else really needs them in terms of development. So let's see how we go. And both probably want to stay on the bench. No, complacent and complacent. Awesome. Still, 35 minutes left of the game. Still, it's a good long ball to Vaz. Keeps it in, but gets dispossessed and wins a throw. Gomez gives it to Vaz, calls it in. Ray falls it for Taboas, who has got the hat trick today. We have put Derby to the sword. And honestly, there could be no complaints from Derby, I think. Let's look at it again. Vaz, top of touches, fires the ball in. Taboas first time finish. 3 0. For a left footer, that's all three goals with his right foot. Pardon me, Van Langen wins a header though. And Vaz wins the ball. We're now breaking. Ray hasn't really done much in the game, but. You know, I don't think that's necessarily Ray's particular fault. Estrada. Gives it to Taboas, to Jones now. Gives it to Ray, back to Cissé. Ball over the top for Jones, first time effort. Goes probably over and wide, I think. Not the best chance. I don't really mind it, Sir Corn. I'm going to bring on Cotter just to give uh, Gomez a rest and give him some minutes. And the last substitution, we will bring on Malkov to give him some minutes. After coming back from his injury. Although I think he played the last game. I can't remember now. And it was only fucking five minutes ago. <laughs> but I don't remember. I do not remember. Vaz with the free kick. Plays it short for Cotter. Has a shot from distance. Well over. Not troubling the goalkeeper that one. Vaz with the ball back post. Tabos heads it, but it goes over the bar. In terms of assists, I see Tabos has at least one, so he's involved in at least four of the goals today, which is awesome. Jones involved in three. Vaz involved in two. <laughs> Try to see who's involved in what, but uh, yeah. Good all-round performance, I think. Uh, that is a not good, though. It's an injury to Tabos. Hopefully his isn't bad. That's two injuries in this game today. Hope, hoping both are not serious. Waiting for the referee to blow the whistle, which he'll probably do in just a second. There goes my pen. Still not went yet. Just blow the whistle, Defa. And it's done. It is Arsenal 6, Derby 1. Let's see how bad these injuries are, because that is the only thing just now that is going through my mind. Losing Lusur for any period of time is going to hurt. And Lusur is out for 45 weeks with a torn groin muscle. And Taboas is out for 23 with pulled knee ligaments. 
There you go. Jones had played 13 hours of football without scoring and he got a double, which we like to see. And we'll praise Tabos for his performance. No, we won't. Randomly. But yeah, join us in the comments as we will take on Bayern Munich in the Champions League. We're here for the final game of the episode. And... I can't remember what the team was last time, but we won't have 10 substitutes today because we don't have enough players fit and registered. So in goes will be Seidel with Gomez, Oskowski, Estrada and Aina, Malkov and Galerme, our usual kind of, what will now be the back's kind of six. Vaz replacing the injured Lasur, Diabati replacing the injured <laughs> Sinval, Derry out on the left and Jones up top. Don't really have many options for wide players, if any, today, which is a little bit of a concern for me. But we will just have to make do with what we have. After joining against Manchester City, kind of important that we win like two of these harder Champions League fixtures that we've got. And we still have a couple still to come. We are the team in red and white. Bayern Munich are playing in their second kit, which is black. And uh, already, Bayern Munich seem to be the team on top. Again, it's been two minutes played, so I'm not going to worry too much about the opening two minutes of a game unless we go loads behind <laughs> I take it back I'm concerned Galema with a good tackle Gomez picks up the loose ball Vaz plays it forward to Diabati back to Gomez Vaz the ball into the box for Gomez he heads at home after 13 hours of not scoring the double last game to open his book for the season and another one today we take the lead at home to Bayern Munich. Liverpool are playing Atletico Madrid. Borussia Dortmund are playing Juventus and a couple of the other big ties in the round. We too have to play Bayern Munich. I think we have to play them next in the next Champions League fixture we play. The refs gave a penalty. Is it a penalty? Please don't just give away a penalty. Please don't give away a penalty. Fuck, we've given away a penalty. Come on, Seidel. And he has saved it. He's caught it quite comfortably. We are fortunate to still be winning this tie. Derry has picked up a knock. It is a bruised ankle. You will survive. We have a corner. Vaz is going to deliver it. Can he pick out a player in red? He can, but Laskowski heads it well over the bar. We're doing okay this game so far. We are doing okay. Diabati's maybe not having his best game, but I'm kind of expecting that with the role he's been asked to do today. Uh, let's have a look then. Uh, ben, yeah, at this point in possession... You need to calm down to avoid being sent off. Um, I suppose Royals will be playing as a winger. <laughs> it's kind of the best option I've got at the moment for the injured Derry. So let's see how this goes. At least I know Norberto Ray can come on as a right winger for Vaz if needed. But we are really struggling for certain positions just now due to injury. Faz delivers the ball in. It's not won by our player, but Glemmy's picked up second balls. Dispossessed just outside the box, but he picks it up again. Gets it to Laskowski. Plays the ball over the top, doesn't get to Royals, but he picks up the loose ball. Plays it through to Jones, he's one-on-one. -on -one. I think it's going to go to Varchek. It's not, it's Jones has doubled the lead again, and has doubled the score tally for the season by scoring another double. And watch this for a fantastic ball. Royals picks it up here. Plays it through. Jones, first time finish by the goalkeeper. Makes it Arsenal 2, Bayern Munich 0. Laskowski's having a poor game again. I may have to genuinely give Van Langen a run in the first team because if Laskowski's going to keep playing like that, he's going to be a liability. Diabati unlucky there. Hits a shot from a couple yards out right off the defender in front of him. But he does earn us a corner. Laskowski with the head orb, comfortably caught by the goalkeeper. Aina with the throw to Royals. Back to Aina. 
Costa back from Malkov. Has a shot from distance. Doesn't. Not that far away. Not that far away at all. Uh, going to make a couple of subs. I'm going to bring on Cecilia for Galerme because he's on a booking. Diabat is not having the best of games, so we'll play Cece as an advanced playmaker, I suppose. We are really just trying to throw together anyone. Ray can come on on that right-hand side as an inverted forward on attack. I'm assuming you're right-footed, though. You are, but you'd probably be fine in that role. And we'll bring on Van Langen for Laskowski. That's all of our subs used with half an hour left to play. Let's hope we don't pick up any injuries like we have done the past couple of games. Gomez gets a ball to Ray, who is dispossessed. Go on, Markov wins that nice and comfortably. Plays it to Jones. Slots through to Ray's, went one-on-one, -on -one, and he scored. It's his first goal for the club, and it's his first in the Champions League this season. Fires into the opposite corner. Goalkeeper didn't really have much of a chance. Ray with the third goal of the game. And for once, a quite a comfortable performance against a good side. Just kind of watching this highlight. It's going to go to end the highlight in a second. but Or maybe not. Gomez has it wide. Has a shot, gets a corner. They are fairly putting the pressure on Munich now. They definitely started the brighter team as well. I think us scoring first and them, them missing a penalty has really kind of hurt them. And since then, to capitalise again with a couple of goals. Jones involved in all three. Two goals and an assist for him today. Cecilia back to Van Langen. Plays it to Gomez on the wing. Cissé just about gets a shot off, but comfortable save for the goalkeeper. If we win the three points today, that is four points from possible six in the Champions League, which isn't bad. Our league record is currently a lot worse. I think we're five from 12, or four from 12, round about that. Five minutes remaining of the game. Atletico Madrid are drawing with Liverpool. Borussia Dortmund are beating Juventus. 3-0. Estrada now. Gets out to Aina. To Royals. Malkov. Cissé. Royals. Quite easily dispossessed there. But he is kind of playing a little bit out of position. Probably just not used to that. A couple of players actually playing out of position for me today. But in rows are possibly comfortable with. Good save there by Seidel. Looked pretty comfortable though. But still a good save. Had to make it. As we were just waiting for the ref to blow the whistle. Which he does. Thank Christ for that back-to-back -back win. One league game. One Champions League game. We have needed that after a really poor start to the season. <laughs> oh my god. So yeah, after two games played, we're still in the top eight where we need to finish to miss a round of the Champions League, which would be ideal. But there's still plenty of football to play. Derry's just out for a couple of days, which isn't bad. But let's have a look then and see what the next set of fixtures are and when we'll come back. We're playing Chelsea next, which is a tough game. But then we've got Brentford, Luton, which you've got to think will be easy points for us in the league. Followed by Maccabi Tel Aviv. Again, same. Why don't we come back for Reading and Watford? That sounds good to me. Let's come back for Reading and Watford. If you enjoyed today's video, please leave a thumbs up. It greatly helps out the channel. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye for now.